Well, it seems like there is not a lot of patience in Oklahoma City. Carmelo Anthony, if we do remember, Jekyll and Hyde player, was asked prior to the season if he would come off the bench. Right. Do you remember what it sounded like? In case you don't, here it is. And the second question is- Who, me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that answers that part. I, I mean, I don't know where that started, where that came from. Uh, <laughs> hey, Pete, they said I got to come off the bench. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, well, how do you, I guess the bench question is not a, not a... All right. The reason I bring this up is because let me get this straight first. I think Carmelo Anthony is a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. I think he's a hell of a player. Yeah. I think he made the New York Knicks relevant when they were bad. Um, he left Denver. Denver has. Is this been all present tense or like past tense? Past tense right now. Okay, cool. Leading to the present sound, tense. Okay, got, got Leading it. to the present gotcha, tense. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Hall of Famer made the Knicks relevant. Was very exciting when he was younger. Right. He's not that now. Mm -mm. If they were to be smart about this, the Oklahoma City Thunder should bench Carmelo Anthony. And it pains me to say it, but he's ineffective, he's slow, and more importantly, the stats that I'm gonna throw out to you right now, if you will happily read, he cannot shoot a lick at all. So here we go. So yeah, so he's 30, three for 13 on three pointers, that's 23.1% when defenders are within four to six feet of him during the postseason. That's a good look. It's a great look. He's also three for 11 when defenders are more than six feet away from him when he has taken long range attempts in the playoffs. Even better. And then just to continue, four for 24 <laughs> on this non corner three point attempt and no player in the postseason has been less effective when taking above the break three pointers. And he's just two for eight. And it piles on. With .80 points per possession as a spot up shooter per Synergy Sports. This ranks to number 41 out of 50 among those with at least as many possessions. It's, significant. it's a significant problem for OKC who currently trail the Jazz three games to one. Yes, okay, so let's pause for just one moment. Do you agree with my sentiment? Yeah, I do. That I, Carmelo I, Anthony should be present. Back. Present tense, he's He's not what he was. He's trash. <laughs> for that, because he's not. He's at, not trash. He's trash in the sense that he's not the player that he once was. So it's safe to say that he's not a. a, a if he's not an trash. Asset to OKC. What he should be is a guy who plays against no, the no, second No, no, no. Don't unit. tell me what he should be. What is? I'm he? telling you what he should be in this system. Right. I mean, in, I can tell you what he should be. In this current NBA overall. landscape. Okay. Right, what should he be? What um, my question retired? is? What? No, nah, I wouldn't say retired, but. Cause that's take, that, like that's take the end a breather. Of the line. I would just say take a breather, like ride the bench and and see, figure out a different position. He's not the player that he once was. It doesn't mean Sorry. that he does that he needs to retire. It just means he needs to find his niche and maybe it's not what we all once grew to love with Carmelo. And that's totally fine. I don't right. expect him to be the same player that he was in his prime, but I expect him to find a position for himself and make himself at least reliable in one thing. Shooting. That's his reliability. That's it. He, he's be a made, shooter at the He's court. going to make the Hall of Fame as a jump shooter. Right. As he was one of the most pure volume right. scorers in his prime, not right. all of all time. Right, right, but right. in his prime, which I'm going to show you in a moment, that we maybe saw a few times sprinkled into the top 20 scores. That's how good he was. The fact is he has no elevation on his jump shot. He's turning into a raw old player. What he should have done. It's and he's getting Cleveland. jaded. Wait, no, uh, Cleveland? He should have gone to Cleveland a long time ago. What do you mean by jaded? Yeah, jaded in the sense that he's getting frustrated easy on because he's not making the shots that he once was. So he's not putting in the same effort. I feel like he's not taking enough shot attempts. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's effort. I think it's just that he's just grown into being an older scorer. He's like this. If he were to be on the bench, he would be the second option off the bench. Like if I put him on a team like Toronto yeah. to come in against a team's second unit. Yeah. Win as like the seventh guy, right. not the starting five guy. I agree. Uh, a few more in 78 games this season. Career lows in points, assists, steals, minutes, career worst percentages from the field, career worst percentage from the line, pro, uh, player efficiency rating, PER, career low. And yet here has been his playoff averages 
each and every year. This is the worst that it's been at 14 points per game. We saw him peak at 30 in 2009, 2010 season. His field goal attempts are down, but that's going to happen with the Russell Westbrook effect. Still, as we're seeing it, his two-point attempts are way down. His two-point percentage is down considering the volume of shots that he's getting. This has been a Jekyll, not a Jekyll, no. This has been the, we do this in sports a lot. Where we think, okay, there's going to be someone of years past, and they're going to catch lightning in a bottle. And we had an example of it this very postseason. And it came in the form of another future Hall of Famer. What we saw for one game, it was Dwayne Wade. I'm like, oh, would you look at this? He has knees. <laughs> it's like, no. He had one good game, and he had one good moment. Yeah, let him be, He's man. still let a hoffer. Yeah. He's still a hoffer. Uh. But what I'm seeing right now, this team needs to change it up effing quickly. And yeah. Billy Donovan needs to grow a sack and bench Carmelo Anthony. And I hate saying that. You think but Carmelo's getting, the reason that they're trailing? I think he's certainly hurting them more than he's helping. Instead of a guy like Jeremy Grant who's given tenacity, effort. He's not a liability defensively. can guard three to four different positions depending on what the other team is putting out defensively. Right. Good, solid young player. Right. Granted, he can't shoot the way Carmelo can. But then again, no, maybe anybody no can at this point. That's what I'm saying as, as far as like Carmelo wins could. But I wouldn't say he's the reason that they're trailing this much. He's definitely an asset or, or he's contributing to the, the- I would say 40% of it is Carmelo. That's a huge percentage. Bro. Can't shoot. Liability defensively, his guy is scoring on him almost every single possession that they are in the isolation. It's been bad, and it's only going to get worse, because guess what? He's got one more year with OKC, and it's over $22 million. So enjoy that contract if you can. Trade him away for a cup of coffee if you possibly could, because uh, I guarantee you that you'd be more satisfied with a Pete's coffee. Free plug.